is Asia political risk analyst Rose Fiengold. He joins me now live from Taipei. Rose, good to have you here with us on TRT World. Now, number one, why does China object to her transit in the U.S.? Any kind of high-profile uh, official interaction between the government or government officials of Taiwan and government officials of the United States or other countries is usually something that China will object to. And of course, this is taking place within the United States as opposed to what we frequently see, which are uh, members of parliament or uh, uh, ministers increasingly, especially from European countries, visiting uh, Taiwan. So the fact that uh, there, there's an element of high profile and it's taking place within the United States on US soil, it's not a surprise that China objects to it. Uh, but we should also keep in mind that this kind of transit stop by the president of Taiwan on their way to Central America or the Caribbean is not unusual. And it usually takes place, at least before COVID, two or three times a year. And how might China react? Because we are seeing warnings uh, coming from China, but what could be the possible reaction? Yeah, the, the usual tools that China has uh, the most obvious one would be military exercises. We saw that uh, last August when then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan and China engaged in very large scale military exercises near Taiwan. Uh, there's economic or trade retaliation where China might ban certain products from Taiwan. Uh, agriculture products are, are uh, a frequent target uh, from China when it wants to use that tool. And then there's the more recent one, uh, which we saw uh, within the last few weeks, which is persuading those countries that still have diplomatic relations with Taiwan to end those relations. And the example recently was Honduras. So President Tsai is transiting the United States on the way to two countries that still have diplomatic relations with Taiwan, Guatemala and Belize. Uh, but there are a number of countries where those relations are probably at risk, uh, whether that's in, in the Caribbean, Central America, or South America, where there's one more country, Paraguay, uh, where, where they're having a presidential election this year. And the uh, opposition party candidate has said if he's elected, he will end relations with Taiwan. Basically, he'll follow what Honduras just did. Uh, so there's always the possibility that Taiwan will lose another one of those countries. Rose, uh, given that China has warned of serious uh, repercussions, serious consequences, is this visit even worth it, given the fact that there could be serious repercussions back home? This is a great question, and th there's a simple answer. The Taiwan government has weighed the pros and cons, they've weighed the costs, and they've decided that it's worth it, keeping in mind that this is a democratically elected government. President Tsai was elected first in 2016, and then she was reelected by, by an overwhelming majority, actually, in 2020. She's term limited, so she can't run again. There's an election in January 2024. Uh, but at, at the moment, the candidate of her party is her current vice president. He's ahead in the polls. Uh, so uh, you know, being a democracy, Taiwan's government has to be responsive to, to the voters here as well. And it seems that the voters uh, believe that this is the right thing to do. And the government believes it's the right thing to do. Uh, you know, people wonder, you know, we talked about those costs, right? We talked about the potential for military uh, exercises by China, trade retaliation, by China losing one of those countries that still has diplomatic relations. But again, the government here has decided that uh, the, the pros outweigh the cons, the benefits outweigh the downsides. So even if Taiwan has to respond to military exercises by putting its own fleet uh, at, to the sea or putting its own aircraft into the sky, uh, they've decided that those costs are worth it. Rose Feingold, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time. Thank you.